1070 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, former undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford, who recently was tripped by the IBF um, and his IBF 147-pound title given to Jerron Boots in his the mandatory, took issue with that. He was asked in the interview, uh, how does he feel? about the IBF stripping him, okay, uh, of his title. He went off on the IBF. He said, F the IBF. He don't care about the IBF. How you going to strip me when I only had the belt for two months? I just got the belt, and you should already stripping me. I'm contractually obligated to fight Earl Spence, but y'all stripping me. This sounded much, a lot like what happened to Devin Haney with Shakur Stevenson. Um, Devin Haney just beat Lomachenko, and uh, they're already trying to strip Devin to give – Shakur belt. Uh, so let's hear what uh, what what uh, Terrence Crawford had to say. Oh, uh, it is what it is. You know, uh, they they pick and choose who they want to uh, grant certain uh, things to. And, uh, if they was gonna uh, do something like that, I feel like they should have stripped Spence prior to the fight, given that they knew it was a two fight deal going into the fight. You know, uh, so. You know, they knew I couldn't, you know, just get out of my contract with you know, Spence to uh, fight you. So, you know, uh, it is what it is. Is it a shame for Boots to become a champion without winning it in the ring? Or not? So now the reporter's going to ask, um, is it a shame for Boots to have uh, not won the title in the ring? I have to get it through another route. I know, so yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know that's not ideal yeah. how he want to win it. You know, I know he's disappointed that he couldn't win it from the champion and whatnot. You know, it's disappointing for him, but if I was him, I'd just tell him, like, I wouldn't fight for it. But I'd rather fight the number three guy. You know, if I couldn't get the other guy, you know, he would send me a belt in the middle. But it just seemed like, you know, everybody cool with, with, with being female champions now and, and whatnot. Just to be. So, Terry Crawford just said, Hopefully y'all can hear that. I hope y'all can hear it. Hopefully this phone ain't too raggedy. He said, it seems to me that everybody's cool nowadays with being the email champion and not earning the shot, not earning the belt. Well, look, man, first of all, in regards to Jerron Boots Ennis, uh, Boots did everything he was supposed to do. He was the IBF mandatory for Earl Spence for a long time. That fight didn't happen. Earl Spence wanted to fight Terrence Crawford. The public demanded that Earl Spence fight Terrence Crawford. He did so. He lost. Um, now, Terrence Crawford is obligated to fight Earl Spence in a rematch. Boots is just in a bad spot. He came in at the, in a transition period in the welterweight division. I don't believe Spence or Crawford is ducking Boots. It's just, he just came in a transitional period. So it's, it's unfortunate for Boots that he can't get those bodies on his resume. However... Um, as far as what Crawford said about people being content with being email champions, tell your boy uh, Shakur Stevenson that. Tell him that because he was offered 25% to fight the undisputed champion of the world uh, who was going to drain himself to fight him, and he chose not to fight Devin Haney. He chose to turn that deal down and go take a, take a backdoor route to fight for the uh, fight for the title but not fight Devin Haney. The WBC ordered some ridiculous situation. There's no way possible that Shakur Stevens should be getting 50 50 split with the undisputed champion. No way possible. I don't care what nobody says. Everybody knows that's ridiculous. But these are the politics of boxing. You know, it's about who you know, who you sign with. You know what I mean? And that's the only thing that Devin and Bill are at a disadvantage with is that. Because they are independent contractors and they're not signed to a powerhouse promotional company that's going to use their payola to, to grease over the sanction of bodies, they're going to be in messed up situations. This is what happens like this. You know, if you're not greasing these guys once a month, sending them enough money, <clears throat> they're going to play games like this. But anyway, that's my two cents on the matter. Y'all let me know what y'all think. 70 Sports TV, salute to the Mighty LDBC, smash that like button. I'm about to hit over. Deuces.